Jason. How's it going today? It's going well. Thank you. Yeah. Are you calling, well, I should be looking at you. I should be looking at you. Yeah, it's okay. You're a director. You can do whatever you want. You know, you, you know, you uh, know what you want, but it's well, all good. Too, it's all good. Um, congratulations on this film. I, first of all, was very intrigued just by the synopsis. Here I am, a Jewish girl. We're around the same age. So I, the, I, I followed your timeline exactly in this movie. Okay. So I remember getting these, you know, trees, of course, for my bat mitzvah and whatever. And then as my, I have two older, two boys who are now in their twenties, but okay. their bar mitzvahs, same thing, got trees for gifts and everything. Now, first of all, I have to commend your parents for being such great pack rats. <laughs> right? Seriously. That, that old footage is fantastic. They, pat, and they passed that on to me. Although, I, I mean, to, to, to an extent, it's all shoved into a, a cupboard, but uh, thank God we had some of that stuff. Well, thank God, yes, because honestly, I could not, I would, there's no way I would be able to find my original certificates, like from what I got when I was a kid and, and also when my kids. So I found that amazing. Well, I, I mean, I actually, the, the one thing there that I'm, I'm sort of thankful for in the sense because it made for a, a better film uh, is that I actually couldn't find my own certificate. I did find the other ones, so you're right. right. They, they, they kept those ones. And the fact that I couldn't find mine meant that I had to do a little, little bit of digging. Um, well, exactly, exactly, which led yeah. to this very interesting process. So let's start off because I, I, you know, like myself, always wondered, you know, where's my tree? You know, I planted so many in my name and everything. So yeah. what, you know, I, I don't want to give away too much about the film, but I do want to get to what happens because it's important. However, yeah. what initially just stimulated this idea for you to start following this? It, it literally was the first time I went to Israel, I started thinking about the tree. Right. Um, I, I now went later than most Jewish kids that I know. I mean, to the point where I wasn't a kid anymore. Yeah. Um, right? <laughs> okay. I, I mean, yeah. yeah. You went, presumably? You've been um, to? I've been 10 times. I Yeah. I, I, my first time, was, I was 16. I went with, um, I went to Cap Ramah and I went on seminar and I have go. relatives there. So I've been going, you know, Okay. Religiously. Right. No pun okay. intended. As, as twere, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, and in my case, I went much later, um, not for any particular reason, but um, it was on that first trip that, you know, all the stuff about that you hear about Israel, as I, as, as I talk about in the film, it just sort of, you, you can't help but, but feel this connection to the place. And yet at the same time, a strange disconnect. And I did just started to ask myself, what like what how am I actually connected here yeah. <laughs> other than you know growing up hearing so much about it and and having some relatives there and that sort of thing yeah. and it really did strike me that oh I've got a tree here it is standing in for me in a sense um, I'm gonna go find it and maybe I'll let's see what feelings that digs up and I'm sorry for all these unintentional puns but <laughs> there it is <laughs> And I went, I had been ordered to find it. I had to go back home first right. because of course I didn't know where to start looking. Um, and, and one, one, you know, one thing led to another and, and brings me back to the place that um, I, I, it's a bit of an assumption, but it's an assumption informed by my investigation as to where it probably is, is planted. You know, as I say in the film, all roads point to Canada Park. Yeah. And we can talk about these things and some of the some some of the turns that the film takes, because I personally I'm not a big believer in the whole, you know, spoiler alert culture that we seem to be <laughs> living in right now. And I think it is important to talk about for the, you know, so that people know that what started off as a kind of a, almost a lark, um, a lark with, 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 with some, you know, deeper meaning attached to it that I didn't want to find this, this, this thing that was gifted to me. Yeah. Um, but that took some very dark turns. And I mean, do you, do you want me to, to talk about? Well, I do want to talk about it yeah. because sure. I, 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 when I got to that part in the film, it, I, I started to cry. I, it honestly hit me. I had no idea. I knew some things about, you know, whatever, like I say, I've been to Israel many times. And then when I started to hear, um, when you, when you went there to Canada park and, and started to hear the stories 
from the people who live there and were driven from their homes and everything that went on. I just felt sick to my stomach. And I can't imagine how you must have felt. Well, I, I, you know, that was a genuine response in the moment for me. And that, and that was, you know, knowing a little bit about it, but obviously standing there in, in the moment, it's very different than, you know, uh, no, knowing a bit about it uh, beforehand. I, you know, the really amazing thing to me about the whole process of making this movie was how little, or, or should I say the fact that I knew nothing about the, 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 the tree planting program and and what lay behind it and the history of it and the the, the uses to which um, trees are put my tree um, yeah. for example I knew nothing of that and what really amazed me about it was that I you know I wasn't born yesterday about the fact that there are lots of controversies in that part of the world that there are two yeah. at least two sides to every story yeah. That that there's a whole side of the story that is is little told, if at all. I knew I knew that I'd, I'd you know um, written plays about um, some of this stuff, and and yet through all that, and even after deciding to look into my tree, was was shocked at the, some of the things I discovered. I have to say one of one of the interesting moments, more interesting moments happened unfortunately off camera. And it was when I was first getting in touch with Jane F. Israel, yeah. Karen Kayem at Le Israel, Kakal, um, a spokesperson there who, and, and I tried many times, many, many times to, to have Kakal I'm sure. give me someone, anyone, please, yeah. a spokesperson, just you know, walk me through Canada Park, uh, tell me about the, this wonderful place. Yes, um, yes. From your, from your point of view. And you can see in the film that I, People talk, you know. I, I'm not. I'm not uh, uh, pointing fingers in anyone's face. I'm. I'm not there to make anyone look bad or uh, or, or challenge them seriously. Mm -hmm. I want people to talk about what they know and believe, and mm -hmm. that's what I would have done had JNF given me someone to talk to. Anyway, it didn't happen. But this gentleman did say it wasn't to me directly. It was I, I hired a fixer there, as you do in a documentary, to yeah. put together some some interviews. Said, uh, well, he's welcome to come, but he might find some things that surprise him. Yeah. Check that box. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was astounding to me, honestly. I found it so interesting because I didn't know that the movie was going or what your findings were going to take that turn. And as a Jew, right. you know. Right. I right. had the same feelings you did, especially that I had the same kind of life life growing up as you and we followed the yeah. same, you know what I mean? I just felt right. very connected to this film. And I also found what was really interesting too, when you were, before you found the center and then when you showed the footage of when you went to your cousins in Israel and they were very wise, you know? And and I think it was your your cousin, um, the, the woman who said, um, it's not really about finding your tree, you know, it's about, the whole connection that we have and that right. makes us feel connected to Israel. And I thought that was so wise because it's true. You're not going to find your tree. I mean, how could we, how would you know, unless there was a yeah. plaque on it, you know? No, or unless you bought a hundred or a thousand, I can't remember what the, I think it's a thousand and then you get your own forest. Yeah. Um, but you can know the location because you do get a certificate. Um, yeah. And you're right. What she had to say and that was the other thing about that interview in particular was, you know, for, for about five minutes before that, they are talking about the right wing turn that Israel has taken and, yes. you know, since the assassination of Rabin and they're so upset at how things are going and separate and unequal and all that. And yet when it came to the trees, they were uh, rhapsodizing about them. That is the power of the trees. Yeah. You know, you, you see early in the film, I talked to, uh, the tree lady, the yeah. woman who uh, she was wonderful. She she took she was great, yeah. She's yeah. lovely, and she took she you know took tree orders for the JNF <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, and she talks about what it means to her and knowing that there's a tree there, and those feelings are genuine. And and it's why that program has been so successful and why they planted 250 million trees and all that. Unfortunately, there's the other part of the story that that uh, most people don't know that we have to deal with too. 
Yeah, absolutely. Now, have you shown this? Like, has anybody seen it um, from the JNF or who's connected with it? Or yeah, just curious as to what their response, oh, you know? No, I, I mean, I, I hope they watch it. I hope they, they, um, it opens conversations. I, I hope it's simply not dismissed. Um, and I, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to talk to them. You know, I'd still yeah. love to talk to them about yeah. the, the things I found and, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. There's some interesting things going on with, with JNF these days, um, especially in, in Israel. Yeah, it's I was going to ask that because I, I don't know, obviously my kids are grown up and I, I'm not in that Hebrew school system anymore or anything. Um, I'm not even affiliated with a synagogue anymore. And I, I, mm -hmm. I wonder if what's going on with them now, like, do they still do this program? You know, oh, yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the tree planting program is still a huge part of the JNF identity. They do a lot more. Yes. Um, they do a lot of, you know, again, didn't know any of this. And I don't really get into that in the film. I mean, yeah. I, I need a mini series to, 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 deal, to deal with everything, but they, you know, they do a lot of in infrastructure uh, work in, in Israel. Um, unfortunately, they also, of late, were considering buying up for people who don't know, the JNF started off as an as an organization to purchase land for Jews right. in the early part of 20th century. The tree planting program was a way to raise money, and then it became a way to kind of put put facts in the ground, yeah, um, and to green the country and 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 all those things. And unfortunately, also to cover up depopulated Arab villages. The what's going on now is that JNF is or was considering purchasing land in the West Bank, the occupied territories, um, to to increase the presence of settlements there. Right. And it was only after outside pressure, outside of Israel, I mean, that JNF backed down from that for the time being. We'll we'll see what happens. So it's a it's a big organization. They 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 do a lot more than plant trees, but um, that's the focus of of my story. Yeah. Well, uh, like I said, I, I found yours. I, I thought this was incredible. Really, really well done. I learned a lot. Like I really did, and I love that when I watch a documentary and I actually finish watching it, and I go, I really learned something. But I did feel very connected to this, so I, I just wanted mm -hmm. to thank you for it and, well, thank, and you. thank you for your time today. I really, really enjoyed it. Well, I don't know if enjoy is the right word for this, but boy, did I ever get a lesson. It was excellent. Thank you, Bonnie. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the hot docs and good luck with the film and um, keep safe, my friend. We'll see you in Toronto sometime you. somewhere. You bet. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>